What is up, you legends? My name is Mike. Most of you know me as Onslaught. It's my Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Welcome to the, the Create a Class video. Okay, I'm going to run through the current classes that I have set up here for the RTC account. A couple of them I've just tweaked even since the last game that you guys saw. So I'm just going to share these classes with you. Um, most of my experience with classes is obviously coming off of my Onslaught account. Uh, because it's a lot further along than than this account, but I'll show you guys the current classes I have set up here. You know what I'm thinking about, and uh, you know what I like about certain aspects of the of the pick ten system here. So. Number one class is this Type 25 class. This is one of the earliest assault rifles you unlock. Obviously, I'm always I've always been an AR fan. Um, so this is my number one class. I like this gun. It's not the the most damaging gun, most damaging assault rifle, but uh, I'm able to control it and and I like the range on it and it has the fully auto you know fire so up close you can almost treat it like uh, an SMG. So I like that side of it. Grip and the uh, the quick draw handle are what help be uh, help with the aiming. You know if I'm coming around corners and stuff, I need that quick draw because I have like a, an awkward play style. Like I'm, I'm aggressive, but I'm not like super aggressive. And I think that's because throughout my Call of Duty career, I've been focused on assault rifles. That's what's always kept my interest. And I haven't really been a big SMG fan, but I'm finding with, with this game, I'm enjoying SMGs uh, more and more. Um, perk one slot, hard line and blind eye. I have a, um, I have the black cats. I'm going to start trying to use those, use those. I haven't used those much yet. been watching some Excal videos recently and I saw him using those. So I figured I would, would check them out. Um, a lot of times I'll be using a launcher like the, uh, the MTAR and this FAL. These two classes here have the, uh, the launcher on them, which, uh, which I like to use that thing all the time. You guys know, I hate showing up on a, uh, on a radar. So if I can't run ghost, which I can't in this game until I've, pretty much prestige, um, I'm going to be shooting down the air support or running that default ghost class. All right. So this is kind of class one. Dexterity is always kind of my favorite third tier perk. I think that helps me the most because I'm most vulnerable when I'm climbing up things with my back to the action, you know, typically. So I always like to have that perk on there. I find if I run extreme conditioning on this class, it gets me in trouble. I get too aggressive with with this assault rifle and it doesn't really work out for me. I like the Simtex again because you can't, um, players can't throw it back at you, number one. You can have a pretty good, you know, if, if you have decent aim, you can make sure this thing go, is going right where you want it to. And you, you can also stick it on the walls and ceilings and stuff to be a little, a little creative with it. So I usually run the Simtex as uh, my lethal nade if I have anything there. All right, for the SMG class, you know, this is my aggressive running class. You'll see I have the extreme conditioning. A lot of times here I'll run the... I'll do one, or, one of two things. Um, I'll either take off one of my perk one perks... Uh, I usually keep hardline. Uh, I usually keep lightweight. Get rid of hardline, and then on that third tier, I'll have dexterity and extreme conditioning. But for the SMG, it's critical that you have these attachments on these things. I, I like a suppressor. Once again, I like staying off the map. As you get further along, though, you can unlock uh, quick draw or the uh, the long barrel. You know, which will both make this weapon, you know, just a, a monster. But at the moment, laser sight, you have to have that thing for hip fire. I mean, it's just ridiculous. If you're not using a weapon with the laser sight on it, you're doing something wrong. Okay, you should definitely have that on a lot of weapons. Foregrip is also okay, you know, if you're using this thing at a long range, which typically I'm not trying to do, but uh, but you can attach that if you want. Once again, I got these black cats here. I'm going to start trying to, to use those guys a little bit more. This is kind of the, uh, the SMG class. But talking about the SMG, there really isn't one of these guns that outweighs the other. Um, I've got a lot of time in with the MSMC and the PDW, but I've used all of these guns, and they're all solid you know I don't think any of these SMGs are just terrible um the CQB here is actually a really interesting you know the way it fires is actually a really interesting SMG it has more of an AR feel and, and I like it I obviously haven't unlocked it yet but on my main account I've used it a little bit but it doesn't really matter to me what SMG I have you know as long as I can have the attachments and the perk set up that I want I'll be uh I'll be good to go. Third tier perk. I mean, third third tier perk. What am I talking about? Third custom created class here. That's Shoddy Beast. This is such a great class. I mean, it's it's incredible. And later on, you can unlock the laser sight and get rid of the reflex sight. And you were just... I mean, it's going to be disgusting. Okay? I mean, it's going to be crazy. And, I mean, not to mention, the red dot sight isn't bad. Look what it does to your stats there. But you really need that, that laser sight. I mean, if you really want to get crazy with it, I think you can do... Hmm, I'm trying to think if you can add the, I'm trying to think what's on my main account right now. I have three attachments on my shoddy on my main account, and I can't, at the moment, think of, 
think of what it is, but but anyway, at, at some point, I'll probably have three attachments on this thing. Once again, this class is all about moving around the map, okay? So dexterity and extreme conditioning are a must. I sacrifice a lethal nade, and I sacrifice um, being able to... Uh, to shoot down air support or whatever i don't have a secondary you might want to change because you're moving around so much might want to change that shock charge to a different uh different tactical nade you know something you can use as you're moving around you know maybe the concussion or the or the flashbang shock charges are typically for you know if you're wanting to set up and hold down hold down an area so um once again hard line and lightweight and you'll notice the perk too like i never really have anything that's you know very i don't know intriguing to me that I, that i usually run on these things third uh, fourth custom class here. I'm just out of it right now. Is the MTAR just another solid assault rifle? Okay, you'll notice I got a couple attachments on it. This class is more mobile. You'll see it has lightweight, dexterity, and extreme conditioning. So I play with with this MTAR um, more like an SMG on this class. But uh, but I like you know I have the red dot on there, and that's going to help me you know at, at a distance get good good shots on guys. So this is kind of a hybrid class between this AR class and the uh, the submachine gun class. And then last but not least, this has been the funnest class. I've been enjoying this class so much. And I can't really set it up the way I want to because I haven't unlocked everything yet. But the FAL is disgusting. Once you get select fire on this thing and make that beast fully auto, ooh, it is it is game over. Okay, I might try to do that throughout the RTC. I don't know. But, uh, but this is a class that you guys are going to see me tweaking throughout the, the RTC that I'm going to be... I'm going to be putting in some work with. So so that's kind of my custom class, you know, where they are at the moment. You know, things are going to change. We're going to find out new things, and, and my classes will evolve, you know, the same way everybody should be evolving for this game. Like like I said, you know, I'm going to try out these black hats and see see how they work, if they're any more advantageous than uh, – then running that secondary launcher, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know, as always, leave a leave a rating. Did you guys just hear me slap my arm when I came back? It might have sounded like a little fart or something. I don't know. Maybe not, but kind of slap my arm there. Anyway, distracted. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next game of the RTC. Later, legends.